everybody. Ooh, ooh, I'm kind of not like in the middle. Oh, hey. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Star Wars Echoes Eternity. We're all here. Everyone's looking just swell this fine day or whatever time it is where Sam is right now. 2.09 a.m. Jesus. What? <laughs> That's what is it really? Is. Yeah. This show starts at 2 a.m. for me. You're the hero. You know that, right? You're the, at the end of the day, when this is all said and done, I'm going to give you like a big old hero's victory something. I don't know what. I, I don't know a, what, but it's 209 a worthy. Some kind of food? Something, something nice. You're going to get something. I don't know what. I'm going to give you something nice, though. At the end of when this is all done. Why don't you give me, give me like, one of those watermelon, lime, monstrosity <laughs> mojitos? How about that? You wish you had one of these. <laughs> a crunky cox is not the name of the the cocktail. Uh, I think well, yeah, I think it is it now. Cocktail. Yeah, it mm. is now. It is alcohol filled. All right, tonight we continue our adventure into the world of you guys. Pick the wrong ship. dot com backslash. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> what we need to do first before we do anything is I need to clear the dice pool. And you need to be so kind as to roll for me your destiny so that we may begin. Ha -ha. Which you're already doing, which is great. Two and two. <laughs> Jesse, didn't you promise us an extra light side point this week on Twitter? I saw that somewhere. Uh, I might have, but I definitely lied to you. Through the power well, of the dark side. At least side. you admit it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, no. I don't think I'm, he promised one. I think you power gamed him into one. She look, did. But I'm remembering look, the thread. Whose side are you on? I'm just. I'm neutral. Side are you I'm a on? neutral party right now. I, you know, I'm on the ship. Mm -hmm. I was just trying to help us out. Well, you don't need to because I'm about to roll two light side. Are you ready? Are you? I am ready. I'm yes. watching right now. Uh, uh. <laughs> Wah, 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 wah. That looks like the opposite of what you said you were gonna do. Yeah, well, I'm dark side too, I guess. Oh well, you tried. You really did. I okay. Did. So, uh, and continuing with our uh, theme of things going bad to worse, let's see what happens. That's not even a real roll. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, okay. Hold on. Let me look at the thing. Okay, well, bless your bless your sweet souls. Here we go. Um, from last time. Darkness within. With the plan of aiding Dio Fang in the acquisition of a mysterious ship for the Dread Rabbits, PR3 and Oda Kanali find themselves trapped aboard a sleek silver J-type starship registered to the planet Naboo. In the dark cabin, the soft pink glow of Dio's blade reveals the possibility of a of its sinister owner and the trouble they find themselves in. Meanwhile, Ulago sits nearby with Gizmo, watching the captive pirates, unaware of his friend's fate. All right. <clears throat> Last time, uh, if you recall, Ulago was back on the ship watching the pirates. One of them is zonked out uh, with a stun blast. The other is the one that you jumped on and pummeled in and telling you where stuff was at. And the other, you vaporized. Sam vaporized. Um, so Ulago and Gizmo are chilling out back of the ship. Uh, meanwhile, what ended up happening is PR3 was like, I guess I'll go inside the ship here. And as he did, the, the ramp started to come back up. And uh, Dio and Oda rolled really well and jumped inside it. And jumped inside it. And so the door shut behind them. And now they, are, they were in a dark room, and as Dio lit her pink blade, it revealed weird artifacts around them. We'll get to that in a second. But I was told that we get one mulligan in, in Star Wars, and I'd like you? this to be my mulligan, please. <laughs> I am so, I'm so sorry. You, you, mulligans are required post-original show. Uh, so at the end of this show, if you screw up, maybe I'll allow it, but you have to remember. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Um, okay, so, uh, this time, we start with, uh, Ulago, you're sitting in the ship, and 
in front of you is the zonked out human and uh, the mm -hmm. Wee Kuei who is sort of tied up and bound next to her. And he's staring at you, still very fearful of the man with a giant disruptor rifle that vaporized his friend. Uh, meanwhile, yeah. Gizmo is going around just whoop, 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 like poking at different Scomp Link uh, ports in the ship, trying to prepare your craft for launch whenever you need to go. Um, as you're sitting there, you hear a, a shrill, like, I can't even do a shrill whistle, but like a loud, shrill, staticky whistle come over your comm link and then static. Okay. You know that um, comm link is your connection to the others. And it has I just try and disappeared. reactivate it? Yeah. Um. As you skim through the different uh, channels of your comm link, it's active. The universal comm link you have is picking up things. It is like picking up other, like you can hack into other channels and things. It's it's working. It's just the link to to the comm links of Diofang, PR three, and Oda Canali are off. You <sighs> cannot connect to them. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna wait and see if it clears up. I'm gonna give it like a minute or two. Okay. Yeah. Um. Ulago sits there and uh, Gizmo sort of rolls up, just like. Gives you a worried, is something wrong? And we cut back to Dio, PR3, and Oda, who are in this dark room. And Dio, your blade is is lighting the area a little bit, just a little tiny bit. Um, and you can see around you on the walls there are strange artifacts. Um, but unless you get closer, you can't really make out what it is, and it is very, very dark. Uh, can I, can I just try to, like, perceive anything that I might know about these artifacts, what they mean, any kind of, like, religious or force significance? Um, sure. I mean, you can use a history check, or you can straight up, like, use your knowledge to, uh, to, to figure out what they are, uh, what significance they have. So you can, like, really- Education. Sure. Yeah. Do you want to use the force? You just straight like I'll, I'll guess. Just I'll look I want to. I are. just want to look and see first. Sure. Without yeah, give the me, force. Give me that roll. Let's see what happens. Uh oh. Why do you have three? It should only be two. Reroll that. Do, do um do you have a dark side point on your sheet? Uh no, not that I know of. <laughs> on on your uh dice pool, are you sure? Doesn't oh you wait definitely do yeah. what All right. I didn't do that. <laughs> You're fine okay. now. All right, Can we roll again. Roll. Yeah. Okay. Oh JP. All right. Well, here's the deal. You got it this time. Um. Hey. So yeah, the room you're in right now, um, is the boarding ramp walk off area. Um, the lights are dark. It's almost too dark, and. The weapon is the only thing lighting the room. But as you look around the room, you see that on the walls are all these little trinkets. And to you, they are of unknown origin. You don't know anything about them. There are many that um, one is pyramid shaped. Um, there are other weird carvings, like wooden carvings, that appear to be um, so, like uh, carved by actual hand, not like by machine. There are um old books slanted on a bookshelf built into the wall like actual books not um like uh you know the 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 like modern mm -hmm. i'm trying to think of tablets is the right word um data you pad. See, data pad thank you so much mm -hmm. uh you see the um main floor however the main space of this room is completely empty like it is everything is along the walls in the center in the main area when you come up the ramp, there's nothing there as you explore this room. Um, and each of these things, the the pyramid, like these are things you recognize as being similar to the off limits library at the Jedi Academy. Hmm. Like you you've seen them in passing, but you've never actually gotten close to them because it's off limits to anyone who isn't a Jedi Knight or above. 
I know that this has something to do with foresty stuff. Um, yes, uh, you, you definitely is foresty related. Okay. Yeah. Does this mean anything to me? Um, because I know... knew that this was Queen Amidala's ship, but I also know that she, it's not her ship anymore because she's dead. Sure. Um, so, like, you know, I would make some assumptions like Queen Amidala actually was into the Force, or whoever owns this ship now is making it to seem like they're Queen Amidala, but really they're a Force user or something, something, something. You would have to, um, hmm, you would have to give me another role to determine if you recognize it as queen amidala ship you Didn't recognize I that it last time i thought you did it for naboo or was that pr3 someone did it and they recognize it's a naboo ship and they oh. said it was definitely a ship that was um uh PR3, i think you yeah. i think it was anna that did it last time and okay. uh you you told her that it it is a ship owned by royalty and you don't yeah. know why it's here and it's yeah. obvious that someone else has owned it right Yes, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned Amidala by name, but it's definitely royalty from Naboo that would own it, yes. So, I mean, you could you can make assumptions, obviously you can make assumptions, because it's it's still pretty much there, but yeah. Um, Why on earth did we come aboard this ship again? I completely forget. Uh, you were trying to take over the ship for uh, Dio, because she needs it for her sister. And you oh, went right. there, okay. but it's not the go, ship that those it was hanging were above. looking for, right? The different ship. Yeah, yeah, it was hanging above. It dropped down below, and uh, PR three, you decided to walk aboard and and sort of figure out what was going on with the ship. Well, and then I just now you're to... all inside of it. Yeah, I um, better go find a computer console then find out who currently owns this ship. Sure. Yeah. I mean, do you want to dig into any more of the stuff on the walls, uh, Oda? Or are you? I mean, are you satisfied with being like? I assume it's. Queen on me all the ship or something like that. I you guess should the touch only other... everything. <laughs> the only other thing I would want to perceive is whether I feel a dark side presence in any uh, of it. Yes, you don't even need to perceive it. You feel it. Like the minute you walked aboard uh last episode is when that like the evil dark side music starts playing in the background very lowly. Like it's mm. already there. You are okay. super in you are feeling it right now. Yes. All right. Um, I don't think PR3 or Dio would notice that, but if you wanted to like murmur something them... like the dark side is strong here or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, in the room you're in to the left is a door and to the right is a door. They're both closed at the moment. Mm hmm. And there's no consoles. In this room, there are no consoles. In th this room is is there's artifacts and stuff lined in the walls. Oh, okay. that's it. To the left door. No, uh, good adventurers go, always go left. I would immediately just go. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. We need to this. Something doesn't feel right. I don't like this. Like we got to be really think about what we do here. PR3, Can we get the exit door open again? Uh, we can't. Like, there's no way to open it whatsoever. Is there no there way is, to open it? There is no console or panel yeah, on exactly. that door. So we go forward. I mean, I could cut it open if you want. Cut that would make this ship unviable. And it would be quite obvious. Quite. All right, to the left it is. <laughs> Sure. To the left. To the left. To the left. left. <laughs> uh, Hope we can get out. Jedi the in the door room. to the left. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you open. You like walk towards the door, and it slides open. Um, this next room is equally as dark. There is no power on the room. Um, but Got my eyebrow sword on. Yes. As as you walk in the room, the first thing you stumble across is. Uh, a giant, ugly, terrible face. Like, 
in jump scare moment central pops up right in your face, Dio. Uh, however, it isn't a terrifying visage once you look at it. It is that of like a wood carved Gungan. Um, no, I hit it with my vibro sword. Yeah, you hit it and it, it like chunks into the side of it. Uh, and you can pull the sword out, but it like doesn't do much damage. It's just a solid, it's a solid piece of, of Gungan timber. Um, and you've now scarred the top of it. Uh, PR3, will you make me a, a lore check, please? Mm-hmm. Some sort of history roll or something you might know about this. History. For the sake of comedy, of course. Of course. Um... Wait, what was it under? Education? History? Yeah, you could do edu- you could do history. You could do outer rim. I don't see history. Where is it? Uh it would be a it would be a uh my brain just died. It would be a check for either lore or uh, you would check uh outer rim or education. Any of those. Okay, well they all I have the same amount of dice for each one, so uh go lore. nuts. Nope. Strangely enough, you don't recognize it. Weird. You've never seen it before Why in your am life. I terrible. It's all right. Doesn't matter. It's, it doesn't doesn't matter at all. Definitely, yeah. definitely isn't that important. I definitely um, pass that advantage on whoever rolls next. Sure. Yeah. You 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 look over this this statue. It almost looks like a totem of some sort. It is very tall. It almost extends to the height of the room. And in it are different creatures that appear to be associated with the main figure on the totem, which is a gungan. Um. As you enter this dark room, you notice that unlike the previous room where there were things around the walls, this room has artifacts littered everywhere. And mm-hmm. if you look closer, I can sort of tell you what they are, or you can move through. It is your call. Uh, what other exits are there? There's one exit further mm-hmm. in the room. Okay. Hmm. Um, yeah, if you look around, there's more I can tell you. Just from visually, there's an exit at the end of the room. I think perhaps this ship is a traveling thrift shop. That can't afford lights. Well, if we could find a way to turn it on, might help. Can I do a perception check or something to look for uh, another door? I mean, other ways. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give give me give me a look. Give me a check. Let's see what you can find. No, it is super dark in here. Very, very dark. You can only see barely in front of what your vibroblade is showing you. It's almost like the darkness is is permeating around you. Like it's like a blanket over your face that you can barely see as you try to move through this room. But uh, you know, as long as they follow your blade, Dio, people can sort of maneuver through. But there are things in the room with you like you can't make out exactly what they are unless you get close to them but it isn't just like an open room and a door at the other end there's a door at the other end and then like dark splotches within the room itself i think i would reach back and put a hand on pr3 and try to push him before me i'm okay. already going stop it Faster. Yeah, PR, PR three with your eyes. Um, just based on what you can see visually with your eyes right now, you notice, uh, without like too much visual information, you notice that there are several dark stone statues. Um, and if you look closer, I can give you more information. There's a large crystal of some sort. Mm-hmm. There are two very dark urns a massive stone carving and something locked behind a tiny case. Mm-hmm. And then also as you scan the room, there is a hatch that leads to a stairwell down that you recognize just by schematically knowing stuff to be a hatch down to the hyperdrive system. And mm-hmm. then a lift, like a small thing you can stand on that will take you down to the lower deck. Hmm. We should disable the hyperdrive. Are we trying to take this ship? Where are we? <laughs> when... <laughs> we can disable it. No. <laughs> if we disable it, we can't escape. <laughs> it's 
still don't understand exactly. I thought that we were looking for a different ship. You just wandered on this uh, one. I we thought we were looking you. for a ship that like those jerks that want have her sister wanted, but we didn't find it. We found this, but we were going to use this one to go get her sister. This instead. I hope it kills you all. <laughs> we're here for <laughs> I mean, you, <all> okay? Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh man, I'm at a loss. I'm terrified. Anywhere we go, I'm. I'm not touching look, any of your cabin in the woods basement. I'm not trinkets, either. Okay, I'm going I'm straight to the waited. door. Okay. I'm the one I know that when there's waited. lament configurations around me. I'm the one that went in the closet that had the other Inquisitor in it. So mm, I true. will not go into. Yeah. Like, nope, I'm not going. Not it. I will say, um, pocket. I totally slipped my mind. Give me a one. Hmm, hmm. I want to say perception check, but I also feel like this could straight up just be a. Um, I'll allow you to do a education check because you learn this as well if you want to. Um, uh, my perception, I think, is like way. Go better. for it. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, the stuff I'll say this: the stuff here is familiar to you. You've seen this stuff somewhere before. Hmm. You just you just don't know where. Can I uh, get closer and start to not touch it, but like investigate it? Like have my sword, like kind of you know, roam over it so I can catch more of the light against the stuff. Yeah. What are you going to look at? Um, there is a totem, a dark, dark stone statues, a large crystal, dark urns, a massive stone carving, or something behind a locked case. Yeah, I would look at a lot of the statues. I would, like, what, what, what are they? Figures of, of people or, you know, humanoids? Yeah. Uh, so you approach the dark statues, and <clears throat> as you look at them, you see that they are of cloaked figures, possibly Jedi, um, but you cannot tell. They do, however, appear to have been carved by hand tools, not by machine. Uh, so you guess them to be pretty old, but unless you have some way of knowing, you, will, you truly won't know how old. The big statue? Um, the massive stone carving. I mean, there are many statues of all the same size, oh, no, but they no, all appear to look the, the massive one. Yeah, yeah, the massive stone carving. As you move over to that, uh, you see that it is of an unknown language to you, at least, unless you want to roll to try and figure it out. But it appears I... to be an unknown language, and in the center of this slab, this stone slab, is a carved shape of what appears to be, at least to you, a lightsaber that looks similar to. Oda's lightsaber crossed with something akin to a tree branch or perhaps lightning. Call both them over. And I'd say to PR3, do you know this language? I mean, I would say to Oda, what's that? And I would point to what I would think is a lightsaber. Assessing. Do I know it? Uh, give me a, give me a roll. Um, what am I rolling? Isn't he a protocol droid? Doesn't he know every single language ever? He does. Um, wait, 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 wait. Before you roll, he can have my advantage. Okay. Yeah, I'll oh, give baby. you a blue. Thank there you. There you go. You have a blue. Um, I guess it would be uh, education? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you do not recognize this at all. In fact, you've never seen this language before in your life. Unknown language. Does the image mean anything to me? Um, you definitely recognize the blade featured to be a lightsaber. Um, you've never seen any weapon like that before in your life. You definitely recognize it to be a lightsaber. What it's crossed with, it could very much be a tree branch, right? Like a tree and then branching out or some sort of plant. It also could be lightning. There are no flowers on it or leaves. You're not really sure what it's supposed to be. Um, the language is nothing you've ever seen before. It isn't even a language you saw in the like restricted area of the uh, Jedi Temple. I would know about like Force Lightning, right? As a Jedi. Um, give me a knowledge check. Do you? 
Do you I suppose know? that'd be education, right? Y- yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you taught about it? No, nope, they didn't teach you about it. <laughs> you missed, you missed that class. I know nothing. <laughs> Guess it's a Jedi trying to chop down a tree. Go to the urns and I'd be like, well, I have no idea. Yeah. So um, just- you go over to the urns and uh, you see that there are two of them. Two dark black urns made of some material you have never seen before it's not clay it is not something that was made from sand or dirt uh and the tops are sealed and corked shut with a layer of uh, wax poured over them any word are there any words there are no words they are they are smooth like super smooth recognize these though like i mean you recognize them to be large urns you've definitely seen urns like this before like you know what an urn looks like but you you know you don't know what these could possibly be you just know they're sealed shut can i look at that case that was locked absolutely yeah um you need to either ignite your lightsaber or have dio come with you i i motion dio over and say what's this Uh yeah um in my thing over it scan it yeah as you do you see that um it's a huge, clear case, and in the center of it, it, the most surprising thing of all, is a little tiny stand, and on that stand is a very small gold ring with strange symbols carved around the top and a large black kyber crystal lodged in the top of it. Do I know anything about a black kyber crystal? Nope, you just recognize that it's a kyber crystal. Like, you definitely know what kyber crystals look like. You know what this is, but you've never seen a black one before. Dangerous to me. Just, like, assess that none of this is, like, good. <laughs> Very <laughs> eerily fair, bad. Yeah. <laughs> yes, like, easy, easy assessment. Okay. <laughs> I was like, do I? Or is my character like, uh, der, this seems fine. <laughs> While standing in the fire. So no, if we're you, trying you... to steal this ship, we should just fire it up and take off, get Ulago, and go. And then Where's we can that, dump man? all of this horrible stuff in an incinerator somewhere. I have come to the conclusion that the owner of this ship is very scary. Let's continue <laughs> as quickly as possible. Yeah, I'm going to agree with the droid. How do you get scared, by the way? <laughs> how do I get scared? I'm asking you, because yeah. you're like, very scary. So I'm like, how do you get scared, by the way? You're I am droid. programmed for self-survival. All right. Uh, I think we just keep moving, then. All right. Uh, where would you like to move to? Would you like to go through the doorway, down the stairwell, or to the lift? Okay. Uh, as I don't think someone, going down is going to help. As someone who has been on a ship, I would assume the lift would bring us closer to the cockpit, right? You said down. Uh, the lift will take you down. That's the, like cargo. The stairs yeah. also go down, but to another room down below, and the doorway is the only other way out of the room. I would assume the door. Besides then, going back. Going down doesn't seem the correct. Yeah, the response. cockpit windows are like at the top and the bump. Yeah. So I guess go forward. All right. Yeah. Um, you move forward and the door opens, revealing a glowing red light on your faces. Uh, we cut back to Lago in the oh. cockpit, uh, chilling with the with the guys that he's captured. <laughs> yeah. And Gizmo, who is sort of wheeling around, frustrated and upset because nothing's really going on and you haven't heard from the team. And at this point, 10 minutes have gone by and you haven't heard anything. Except static. And Gizmo gives you like... I don't understand you. <laughs> and like its little knobs and doodads start spinning. And it keeps you pointing me, out you the You want ship. me to go after him? Is it nodding? Is it... What is it doing? Yeah, it's like... It's like... It's... Bits are pointing at the door like, what are you doing? Go! Why are you here? 
I I take a look at is one of the ladies is still unconscious, right? The weak way guy is is the the woman's unconscious. The weak way guy is like tied up and bound. Okay, I just want to knock him out with the bar of the rifle, and then I'm gonna head out. <laughs> this guy, guy's like, "Whoa, what are you doing?" Shut oh up! God, that was <laughs> oh my head! You've knocked me out now. Oh, and down <laughs> he goes. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I just hit the hit the the bay door, leave the ship. And start heading to, uh, I guess, I would know where they were heading, I guess, via... Yes. Yeah, you absolutely know cool. where to go. Um, All right. The question for you is, are, do you want, what do you want Gizmo to do? Gizmo can come with me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He uh, makes sure the door closes behind you in the ship and uh, wheels behind you. It's like... <laughs> and it's like going as right, fast as the way. can down the hallway. Yeah. Oh, yeah, scoot. I, yeah, I'm jogging after it. Um, it is, uh, like hitting random workers who are still trying their best to like work their jobs at this facility and like knocking them out of the way. And there's guys who are like, Hey, what are you doing? You know, all and then the they get hit by my places. shoulder instead and they just get shoulder checked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. Uh, and you just very quickly run by them all and you find yourself, uh, entering the main, um, stairwell area. Okay. And you know this is as far north as you can go. Um and there's nothing here. You don't see anyone. Just the stairs leading back down to the uh floor you just came from. And then the rest right. of the facility. But you you know just for clarity's sake to show you that on the map. Um we'll go back to that real quick. Come on, top thing. All right, hold on. It's going to make me do this. Just to get over to, I have so many damn things. Um, just so you can see that right there. Uh, right now, even though it's totally, even though it's totally known to you uh, as a player, um, mm -hmm. when you get there, you do not see the room that they have entered, which is north of you. That secret room. It's locked. It's closed. Okay. Um, can I inspect the wall? Of course. How would you like to do that? Uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm going to look at R3 and be like, all right, now what? And it does like uh, its little dongles are like, don't look at me. I don't know. Okay. I'm just going to start feeling the wall. Okay. Yeah. Um, You start. Uh, how do you want to feel the wall? Are you going to like hit it hard? Are you going to not? Like, what is your objective I'm, here? I'm feeling for like a groove where like a door might be. Some kind okay. of seam. Absolutely. Yeah, you 100% find it. You feel the seam. Uh, you know there's a door there. You don't necessarily know how to open it right away. Okay. Um, well, I think this is the door, but how do we get it open? Are there any buttons on the wall or anything um, like that? There are no buttons on the wall. Okay. Uh, I push the door? Yeah. You give the door a push, and you hear a... And it impresses a little bit and moves off to the side. And Gizmo's top bit, like, turns to you, and then turns back to the door, and then just... And just wheels on in uh, <laughs> and into the darkness of the hallway. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, um, I follow. I follow him in. As you follow, the door shuts behind you and closes, and little lights along the floor leads you down a dark corridor into a much larger hangar. In this hangar, the roof is sealed up um, and closed, but you can see that your companions are not there. The only thing there is the ship you see before you, except it has no ramp leading up to it. The ramp is 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 like closed, shut. So they, they're in this ship, and it's kind of just hovering. No, it's like on the ground. It's oh, it's on, on the ground, the but there's no, there's no ramp. Yeah. Got it. Well, mm -hmm. it explains why the comms cut off if they're inside. All right, R3, how do I lower uh, he that? Points, yeah, he points to a uh, console and, and is like... Uh, I head over to the console. 
Yeah. Uh, and Arthur just kind of looks at you, expectant to like, so get him out. <laughs> okay, I, I fuck around on this console. I guess I roll computers. Yeah, go for it. Move that. Hang on, I had a boost dice in there. Um, all right. No, nope. nope. <laughs> you know nothing about computers. Hey, and it's who did? Very yep. Yep. Uh, and, yeah, and... I, I'm just gonna keep pondering this scenario <laughs> where I had to get the store food. Yeah, Gizmo looks at you, frustrated, just like, mah, 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 and <laughs> kind of like, just doesn't doesn't even know what to do right now. Um, meanwhile, back inside, uh, Dio, PR3, Oda. You have entered a cockpit. I'll give more detail when Pocky gets back. But, like, you've entered a cockpit of the ship, and you've sort of come up from down below, right? So, like, you enter the door, and a ramp led you up to that top bit. You see, directly in front of you is another door, and around you, as you come up the ramp, are all these terminals. Um, it is, the room is a crimson red. You can't tell if it's lit that way or painted that way or if it's a crimson red metal and there's just like reflectors somewhere to make it light the way it does. But this room is red and it is uh, nothing like you've ever seen before. We went up a ramp? Yeah, when you open the door from the room you're at, it was a short, it wasn't like a big ramp. It was a short ramp. I was going to say, are we on the upper deck yet? You are on, you are literally... Um, you see those windows on the on the image, the windows there? Mm. You, like, came up kind of under a console. Like, behind you, as you come mm -hmm. up the ramp, as a chair facing out those windows. Okay. Yeah. So, Pocket, what I was saying is you guys have entered the door. You came up a small ramp. It's not even, like, 15 feet ramp up. And in, you're in the cockpit. The cockpit itself is a dark crimson red. There are control panels uh, lining the walls, monitors and readouts. But it is, it is, you can't tell if it's painted red or red metal or if it's lighted red. It doesn't make any sense. It's just a red cockpit room. To the nearest computer console. Yeah. Sure. Can you uh, get the doors open again? I can find out. Yeah, maybe yeah. find the light switches. I mean, this place is obviously uh, red. PR3, when you enter the main cockpit room, as you come up through the ramp into the cockpit, um, a green sort of ray scanner of some sort scans you from the top of the room and oh, all the lights turn on. Oh, okay. The lights turn on and you see the room itself was not red at all. Mm -hmm. It was possibly lit that way, maybe a powered down mode. Okay. But what you do notice is that as you look around the room, you have, well, you can't see a power on button. Mm -hmm. There is no starting terminal to like power on the ship. Okay. You can deep dive for more information. You can you can give me a perception check to see it, what you notice about this room. But cursory glance, you don't see like you know the start button. <laughs> there is the, there is no like power on like systems on button in this ship. Perception. Yeah, hit me. Oh, brutal. No, no. You li it's it's confusing. Your circuits don't understand. Pass that to all advantage onto the next person. Sure. All yeah, perception and the perception too. Yeah, of course. Go for it. Uh, could I? Uh, uh, which would be better, mechanics or perception? Perception for this, because you're actually trying to figure out what's going on right now. Uh, no, nothing. You can't figure it out. In fact, you, it's you totally just, like, foreign to you. One success. Well, Oda can <laughs> Oda can try and figure it out. Yeah, I'll try it. Oda, push you in. <laughs> this is computers. No, this would be a uh, just a perception check. Okay. Just to see if you understand. Yeah. 
Uh, so Dio, PR3, the two of you enter the room, and it's like, as the lights turn on, it's almost entirely foreign to you. You've never seen anything like this before. One of those things that Dio just walks in and she's like, what the f <laughs> Yes, it is exactly what it's like. It is, it, you've never seen, you've been in many ships, you've never seen a cockpit like this. Uh, Oda, you walk in, and the thing you notice, it, it, like, right off the bat, is that, um, there, like, PR3's initial glance is right. There is no actual on button that powers on the ship's systems. The monitors and the readouts and displays and consoles around the room, also, to you as, you know, <clears throat> a smuggler who's traveled and done things lately, um... They don't appear to actually be monitoring anything associated with the ship's diagnostics. In fact, there are no scomp link ports for a droid anywhere in this cockpit at all. Um, so it's like not meant to fly anymore? Uh, it is. I, I cannot give you that information. Uh, it's just there's nothing. There's nothing in this cockpit that a person could come in and just start flying it. Perhaps it is voice activated. Ship, respond. Nothing well, happens. that's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, we, nothing happens. And we can't interact with any of these monitors, so we can't gain any more knowledge from... The button configurations, the way the systems are laid out, are not normal or a bash. Like, it'd be like, um... If you sometimes go overseas and you see a different keyboard and you're like, this mm -hmm. isn't QWERTY at all. Like that kind of thing. You're like, what the hell is this? But it's also in another language. That kind of thing. Can I Where see like, what, what the ship monitors are monitoring if they're not monitoring anything that has to do with the ship? Um, yes. You can see that it is monitoring readouts, but like planetary readouts from distant worlds. Uh, the worlds are numbered, not named. And it is monitoring atmosphere, and it is monitoring, like, water content and things of that nature. So, like, livability things? Um, not livability, but more observational information about the planet, uh, designed to detect if there are any sudden changes. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I relay this to the others, and then I say, there's... There's nothing to do from here to fly. I don't know how to fly the ship, but it's not from here. This ship is too peculiar. Perhaps we should go. Um, PR3, if you want to give me a uh, any other checks that you might have, there might be other information you can gain on trying to figure out mm -hmm. what to do in here as well. No scomp link, but computers of any kind? Uh, you can give me a computer's check to kind of understand the systems that you're working yeah, with. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna... Oh, yeah. baby. Okay. I'm um, not terrible <clears throat> anymore. Thank God. You uh, figure out the following. Um, while you cannot access it via your actual, like, finger scomp link, what you do understand is that based on the design and layout that um, the uh, system design has some key signatures that you recognize from your time in the Empire. Mm -hmm. One of them being that it appears like, unlike the rest of the ship, which was clearly made on Naboo, this cockpit is not the original cockpit. It has been placed there and refitted, and judging by the make of it, you can guess that it was built by uh, Sanar Fleet Systems, which um, is the... Like, the foremost Imperial fleet manufacturer out there. They make starships and arms and hyperspace drives. Uh, oh. They're known for the TIE Fighter and the Lambda-class shuttle and the Interdictor mm. Star Destroyer. Like, they are super big with the Empire. Uh, you recognize that. But what you also recognize is that um, it seems like the design was handcrafted, which means it was probably made by Wraith Sanar himself, <laughs> which is, like, the big top person at center fleet systems how aware as an imperial droid would i be of the leadership and its capabilities of the empire um it i mean 
That's a that's a tricky question. You were you you know the Senate, and you've probably met with leaders of the Empire. Like you know the Imperial Senate, you've met with them. Mm. So you would know certain things. I assume your master would have put things in you. It's all a role, right? It's all just mm-hmm. a role to see what mm-hmm. you know. I would say that uh, if you want to deep dive, you can give me a, a roll, and we'll see what else I you know. I would love to make a roll to see exactly who personally this guy would make a ship for. Sure. I suppose uh, that that would be... Um, I don't know about lore. Would it be lore? You, no. you could give me a roll for... I don't know. Um... Lore, yes. Education, education, sure. Core worlds, sure. Hmm. Let me go education on this one because it would have to do with narrowing down Excellent. individuals that would get yeah. this treatment. Great. Hi. Oh my God. All right. Can I tell you? All right. I don't want to I'm gonna let people in on this. I've been planning. This is this is great. I'm really excited. <laughs> I've been planning this for so long for you guys to find this that i have the answer but also if he gets a crit <laughs> i have it written down here i'm really excited so all right um <clears throat> yes pr3 you immediately recognize that um even though you take three strain which i don't know how close that is to you being shut down again but uh, oh yeah i was at 10 i shut down immediately after that <laughs> I know exactly who this ship was built for, and I shut down. Yes. Um. When the time uh, comes, (laughs) yeah, yeah. When I would like to think that I make an exclamation of dread before I shut down, please. The most dreaded exclamation. You like your eyes? If your eyes could widen as a droid, they do. Um, and you shut down. You immediately shut down. Uh, when you power back on PR three, I will give you all the information. Of course. Uh, but yeah, Dio Oda PR three has this like, oh no, and then immediately shuts down. How do we, how do we medically help a droid? Do we still do a medicine I check? Happen to be a mechanic. Yeah, you can mechanics check and try to bring him back online. Uh, I'm gonna start trying to bring him back online. I pull out some little tools from my little pouch. All right. Give me Start. a roll. See if you can do it. See if you can mess with them. Right. I would love to use a dark... Not, not a dark side. <laughs> a light side point? A... Sure. Yeah. I would love to use a dark side. All right. I mean, okay. I'm ready. Are you ready? Go for it. Mm-hmm. Are you... <laughs> <laughs> you cannot bring him back online. Man. He is still down. You do, however, have that uh, advantage that you can give to someone. I'm gonna give it to someone. I okay. can try. Okay, sure. Yeah, go for it. And it has to be mechanics, right? I can't do a medicine check be. on a droid. No, nope. okay. he's a droid. Good luck. All right. Do I? You add the advantage, right? I don't need to add it. Uh, are you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you'll be good. Hold on, you're good now. What? Wow. <laughs> don't add it. Yeah. Um. Okay. Wait, you what's know your what's strain really funny, at? Though? <laughs> Oh no, I knew it! I did it! <laughs> I remember you said it was high last time. Yeah. What is he? Is he three back? We can have him with an apple. Yeah. Can we talk? Yeah, uh, Oda, you like kind of like, you, you managed to do it and it like takes a little bit, out, like too much out of you and you kind of slump down, just totally worn out, uh, if, unable if to like, like, maybe I'm it's like, the room, maybe no, it's no, no, the no, pressure no. I, I of like this, if, if that's okay. Dio couldn't figure it out, and then Dio's just like, just like, like a mountain over her, and it's just like this thing. Like I gotta impress Dio because I feel like, like she did that earlier, like weeks ago. So I feel like that's don't mess up, kid. Yeah, and then and then once she gets it, and she did impress Dio, she does like that. You know that little meme girl that's like, I'm gonna take a nap right here. That's what she does. <laughs> I'm gonna nap yes. right here. Yes. Uh, PR three, you power back on, and. This is the information that you found. Um, Wraith Sainar, not much is known about the man himself, uh, but he is very important to the Empire. However, unlike other corporate heads and people who run big corporations and things in, in the Star Wars galaxy, he isn't about self-promotion. Um, he doesn't really care about his name being out there. 
Um, according to several reports you have on file, he is less interested in recognition and more in customer satisfaction. He is a devoted designer and engineer. And you recognize that if he would have come to do anything like this, your, uh, you know it would be very important. I'll let you decide how you want to use your triumph. You know it would be very, whoever this is for, is the most important person. I use my triumph to put together all the things that we've seen, plus that information to know precisely who exactly he made this ship for. Yeah, you would recognize that the person who this ship is for is most likely the emperor himself. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Mhm. Mm what you do mm -hmm. know, I'll give you this because of the crit as well. What you do know is that in your database, you recognize that Wraith Sanar was approached, it was like a talk of the court, right? The courts of the, the royals and senators and, and Coruscant itself, the talk was that Wraith Sanar was approached by Emperor Palpatine to make a shuttle for him from scratch, like a brand new amazing shuttle. Mm. So if anything, you can deduce that this is probably his old shuttle. While one is being built for him, this is being stored here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wow. Palpatine stealing Amidala, Amidala's old ship. It's like really says something. Sentimental value. Mm. Yeah. Um, but, you know, in character, there's no way you could possibly connect the like weird artifacts and things you've seen yeah. to the Emperor being like a dark side user. Like you, it, right. it's just an old man who collects weird shit. He just like that's, loves stuff like that. Yeah. That's the most, you know, like it wouldn't mm -hmm. click with you that he's like, right. yeah, what up bitches? Like it wouldn't, it yeah. wouldn't. I'm sure However, that... Oda, you can feel mm -hmm. the dark side presence. You can feel like something's messed up here. I'm sure that every like Senator and stuff were trying to find trinkets like that to please him. So I Absolutely. probably would have like shipped some Amazon packages his way at some point. Yeah. Um, yeah. We need to, to leave this ship immediately. I'm sleeping. Yeah. I mean, why yeah, is Oda on the floor? Taking a nap. Why do we need to leave the ship? What an <laughs> odd time to take a nap. Well, she booted your ass back up, so why do we need My to leave? My buttocks has nothing to do with this. <laughs> Listen, okay. We're all under a lot of pressure right now, but maybe you... Why do we need to leave? Because this ship belongs to my former master's master. And that would be? Emperor Palpatine himself. Yeah, we need to leave this ship. And Precisely. I would turn my rose sword and I would pick up, uh, pick up Oda. Okay. Yeah, we cut to the outside. Ulago, you're still at the console. Uh, R3's next to you, just like, like, really aggravated, just like, open it already, jeez, you know, but in droid speak. I'm trying. You open it then. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, he, he kind of like, goes over to the side of the ship and begins to like, droid if droids little you know astromech droids can kick a thing he's like flicking the sides of it trying to just like <laughs> like just really pissed off at this ship because it's not open i'm debating climbing onto the ship so i can see through the cockpit windows sure i mean you sure. definitely could try I'm, I'm gonna do that yeah it's a it's a silver slick ship so it's definitely gonna it's gonna be hard it's a three. Oh yeah it's gonna be like a like yeah you're gonna have flipping. to like really yeah yeah, yeah. This, but yeah go for it Uh, what am I rolling? A flex? Yes. Ha! Yep. You did it! Yeah, you strain a little bit. It's tough, but you manage to climb your way up to the nose and begin to sort of move across the top of the ship. As you approach the cockpit, inside, you see PR3 and Dio carrying Oda. Uh, and you can see them through the windows uh, as they're, like, picking up Oda to get I out like there. Bang on the windows. Do we hear it? 
Yeah, you. I mean, you can see him. He's literally outside, like banging on the windows. Hold on, hold on. What was my current strain at, by the way? Uh, was it you're, 13? you only have one. You have one available. They literally just powered you back on. Okay, I was at thirteen, so I go down to ten. Because yes. eleven's when you pass out, right? All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So, and right, after so... that, it, you're fine. Yeah. Okay, so I see We're not combat, Lago. I'm not gonna on... like punish yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, we see Lago pounding on the window. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I'm like, I, I have Oda in my arms now. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like shrugging, like, pointing, <laughs> and then I, I like slide off the side. <laughs> oh my <Yeah>. god! <laughs> you see, you like just. I'm leave just gone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we down below, Gizmo is still hitting the side of the ship, and then you just fall from above and land right next to him, and he's like, Oh, <laughs> I saw him. I found him. <laughs> they're fine they're fine yeah if a like, droid tick, if a tick, droid tick, can tick, tick, tick. <laughs> if a droid can swear gizmo's definitely like <laughs> right just definitely swearing at the whole situation um inside dio you are carrying oda pr3 you are barely functioning where are you going what are you doing um uh Oh man! I mean, I was gonna say find our way back to the exit door, but like there must be some interface so that we can open the door. Uh, again, I... in this room, just for heads up, there is a like other door in the back, mm -hmm. and then uh, going back through, there was the door to the right as well, plus the bottom floor. Yeah. Perhaps the alternate path back at the entryway to the right. All right. Uh, let's go that way. Let's be quick. Yeah. Okay, um, well, then you try to keep up, and I run ahead of him. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty simple for someone down. carrying an unconscious Jedi. She's very strong. She can She can do it. Yeah, uh, yeah she, like, clumps ahead of me. Um, as you enter the room you originally were in, the dark room that had all the weird figures in it the, the lights are on now and you recognize without even having to get up close that in the room uh again is a giant what appears to be gungan fertility statue <laughs> those figures that were stacked on top of each other weren't just stacked on top of each other um uh you recognize it is definitely from naboo which probably makes sense because of the ship uh the dark stone statues are cloaked figures possibly jedi the crystal in the room is a large red crystal held up from the ground by metal poles. Uh, there are two dark urns of some sort of dark black material. Uh, the tops are sealed shut. Massive stone carving, the one you looked at before, except now you can see that it's much bigger than you even thought it was. Um, and then, again, in the display case, the tiny gold ring with the black kyber crystal lodged in the top of it. Uh, and there's a stairwell to the right, and to the left is a lift going down. And then ahead of you is the door back to the entrance area. Mm-hmm. Uh, the lift is just an unremarkable lift? Well, just a turbo lift, but it doesn't have, instead of having like a thing that seals around you, it just goes up and down. There's like a, you can see a plate on it's the like floor that lift. would move up. Yeah, like a lift, like a cargo lift kind of thing. Mm, okay. Um, hmm. There might be. Uh, oh, yeah. Perhaps on the lower deck, there is a cargo door, which would be easy to open. All right, let's go. Yeah. Let's try to take this yeah. lift down. Does it got buttons at least? Uh, it, when you stand on it, it just and yeah, slowly lowers like, you down. Okay, good. Because I figure since this is Palpatine's ship, the way it's designed, probably like everything, you, you just have to frown at it. Is that how you start the ship up? You just frown? I don't know. Because <laughs> yeah. dark uh, Jedis love that. <laughs> so, uh, let's go with my lower deck list of things. All right. So, as you take the lift down, you find yourself in a small crew quarters. It is an area that is able to, at least from what you can see, store droids. And here, mm -hmm. there are many scomplinks. Oh. And you can see that there are several beds nearby. Four beds. They are all empty, 
and minimally uh, padded. They aren't really, they're probably meant for someone who can like take a night's sleep on a rock. But mm -hmm. um, you can see that this room, there is a room in the middle. The best way to describe it is like, imagine a uh, rectangle and in the middle is another smaller rectangle. And mm -hmm. then to your right is a door. And that smaller rectangle also has a door. But you can literally just walk around this rectangle you're in, mm -hmm. and there are four beds and places for droids to hook up. But that's like it. There's nothing else down here on this level. Okay. Just two other doors. Uh huh. What are these conflicts attached to? The wall. I'm gonna check one out. Yeah. I'm gonna stomp um, the link. As you insert your finger into the link itself, um you begin to immediately experience like power regeneration and oh, baby. and it's like uh very quick it's like a fast kind of like oh yeah these are that this is that good power you are powered into the actual ship and uh -huh. what you can tell is while you don't have access to the ship itself uh -huh. you have access to the map of the ship oh goody and what it's telling you is that uh on the top floor the entrance area that you first entered into, the left was the uh, exhibits area, further left was the cockpit, and further left is something called the throne room. Oh, that's nice. And right up above, you would have gone right, was the royal quarters. Okay. The area you're in, the small rectangle in the middle, is the power core and hyperdrive. Okay. That's where the stairs up above would have led to. Mm. And the door, it says sealed. Security access. Uh huh. The other door in the room is security access only. Okay. Uh, and there's no indication whether that leads to outside through the security access. No, 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 no indication at all. It just, you know, it's sealed shut. Does it look like it's some kind of cargo bay? Um, you have no clue. The room you're in is small, though. Mm. I mean, it's not like there's definitely an entire front half of the ship. You're sort of like directly, like, you're kind of underneath where the cockpit is. Like, you are, if you look at the ramp of the image, mm -hmm. you are to the right of that. Okay. Um, is there a, any, like, uh, information or readme files about what that security door is at all? Look that I can. No, look for? it's just, no. it's just a, a need to know kind of security door. It mm. is designed to keep. Either something in or something out. See, that's but my worry. Like a right high there. level security door. <laughs> it's like based, now all of a sudden, the emperor likes to have some sort of creature that comes out and kills intruders. Uh, based on my experience with ships, would I like be able to? Hey, you're a mechanic. Come together. What are you trying to put together? What are you trying to do? Exactly what you just said. What kind of security door is this exactly? Yeah, by all means. Yeah, you can go over to it, in? check it out. Wow. Yeah. yeah. In the meantime, um. What do you want to do with uh, Oda, who is on your shoulder? I think I would just set her down gently, like, against the wall, so she right. can... Put her on the uncomfortable bed. <laughs> Let me do a the thing most for uncomfortable you. Bed. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so you hook yourself up PR3, <laughs> and through the magic of Imperial Systems, you restore mm -hmm. eight strain. Oh, baby. Um, One, two, three, four, Oda? Five, six, seven, eight. You drop yeah. to the... you you. you uh, Dio places you down on the bed, and uh, while being passed out, you have this, like, overwhelming sense that there's someone else in the room with you, mm -hmm. um, and you, can, you can't express it to anyone else, but what you feel is that Karn is trying to reach out to you. Right. And is and you can feel that there's something pulsing through the darkness that's sort of like a little bit of light, like trying to reach out to you. And maybe, maybe give you some information. But unfortunately, you are like, you know, unable to receive it because you're you're passed out at the moment. But it's there. Like something's trying to come through to you. Um we will deal with that shortly. Uh Dio, you go over to the door. What are you gonna try and do? Uh, I I mean I I guess I would just mostly is hmm, 
I think I would just do what I said, where I'm just mostly looking to see, like, is this a door that I would have? I mean, obviously, this whole ship is different. Well, that's the thing. I... not all of it. Only the cockpit. Only the cockpit is designed differently. Oh, the rest no. of the ship okay. is just the ship it was before. Then I, w- I would just be trying to deduce if this is a door that we should not enter because something dangerous might be on the other side. Yeah. Um. Give me a perception check. Uh, actually, don't. Hold on. Woo. Give me a perception check. Come on, ye. Yeah. Hey. You can deduce, based on the fact that there is a control panel on this side, that it's not like keeping something uh, from, like, escaping. Right? There's, like, you know, it's it's based on the information, like, just the context clues. It's sealed. But it's sealed in a way that's like, you know, if you need to get inside, you can, right? There's a control panel there that you can access to get you inside in case something messes up with the ship. So it isn't, at least from what you can tell, there's not like a monster behind there or someone living in there, mm-hmm. and they've sealed themselves in from the other side. Not a giant, like, tentacle monster and stuff, like, in okay. Yeah, from what you can deduce, it, it's just like a sealed off area of some sort. Okay. Um... Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh and then there's a control pad and uh yep. can I try to mechanic that and hack yep, it? Yeah, go for it. Do do what you do. Let's see what happens. Ha! <laughs> yeah, you take some strain, but you manage to hotwire it. You you crack the control panel and pop the box open and you manage to wire it and the door <laughs> opens up. Um, PR3 is on the other side of the room, Dio. Oda is sleeping at the moment. But as you look inside, I'll tell you what you see. Um, it appears to be an armory of some sort. Oh my. There are dark grating lines on the floor. Uh, you can't tell if this grating is so that air can flow into the room or something collecting in the room can flow out. You don't know, but the floor is entirely grating. The outer edge of the room is littered with blades and staves and spears, all made from some sort of dark stone, handcrafted. Um, and they're on sort of like holders on the wall. On the very far edge of the room is a display stand with three hilts. Um, one appears to be sort of long and has two um, edges that are open holes. One is very short and has a single bone claw extending out from the hilt. And one is uh, just what appears to be an average looking hilt uh, with strange carvings etched into the side that appear to be after it was constructed, the metal was formed. Someone went in and like scratched stuff in there. Um, but you don't you you don't quite know what these are. You could obviously perception check to figure that out. And in the center of the room, surrounded by all this, is a dark stone pedestal, and on it rests a strange metal mask. Lore check the mask. Um, yeah. Give me give me a lore check. Nah, just put it right uh, on your face. Just put it in your pocket, dude. Put, put Why are you guys stealing pocket? shit? Okay. <laughs> no, you don't recognize this at all. You've never seen it. My I will say, like, think about your character, Dio. You've never seen a mask like this before. Think about what that means for you. I'll give you that. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's the thing. It's like that would that would that would worry me. It'd be like, well, that's. Not yeah. good. This is I've this is a mask in my lifetime. This is not one of them. <laughs> yeah, this is this is definitely bad news, whatever this is. Um I think I would I would turn around and say, I got this door open right here. There's nothing dangerous. Well, that I think there's nothing is dangerous it an exit? Stuff. No, but there's a lot of stuff in here. Define yeah. stuff. You define stuff. I don't know what half this stuff. I don't know. Packing peanuts, small (laughs) dogs, various fur animals, some kind of liver. Should I keep going? 
deactivate you right now. That's a lot of things. What do you uh do you want him to go in the room? Like, what are you trying to get him to do? Yeah, Fuck it. go in the room. Yeah, just go in and see for yourself. And there's a mask. Have you ever seen a mask like this before? I mean, you said it was your master's master, and so therefore I feel like you might know what this is, right? Let me see. It's cool, I Can guess. I do, uh, lore uh, history something. Lore yeah, um, yeah. You enter the room, and again, you see before you. Um, along the edges of the room, the circular edge, like a circle room, and on the floor are grates. Many, many grates. You're mm -hmm. not sure, again, if it's for air coming in mm -hmm. or something going out. You don't know. The, the sides are littered with holders uh, for different weapons, and you can see that they are like spears and axes and different blades mm -hmm. and uh, staves of sorts, and they're all made from this weird dark uh, metal. And then at the edge of the room, the very end, is a stand with three uh, hilts of some sort that are held uh, in, in, like, little holders. Mm -hmm. And in the center of the room is a big, very heavy-looking pedestal, and on it is simply placed a mask. Mm-hmm. Uh, just by looking at it, can I tell any, like, lore? If I do a lore roll. Just, yeah, of course. You can always roll for it well i'm gonna roll for it baby go for it i don't know anything about this yeah no you're on the clue i have never seen any such mask before although the grating on the floor suggests to me some sort of security system involving gases right do i is there a panel like nearby to deactivate the security system or do i there's see there's no way? panels in the room do I see a way to get around said security system? Um, you don't even know if there is a security system. Well, I'm gonna believe the droid. So. Sure. Uh, well, there's, you don't see any way that you could get around a security system if it was there. Uh, what else was in the room? Uh, again, in the room are blades of various sorts and weapons along the walls, all, like, hung up on the walls. The far end of the room are straight up just three weird-looking hilts that you don't really recognize. You're not really sure what they are. And then in the center of the room is a mask on a pedestal, and then everything else in the room is just open area and then metal grating on the floor that, um, again, you're not sure if that's meant for things to come in or for things to go out. You don't know investigate the the grading to see if i if i can deduce anything from it sure yeah um as you are kneeling down to investigate the grading you feel um this uh like uh like the grading itself can be lifted like you can feel it be lifted up it requires some like an athletics check for like the strain of it it's very heavy but it looks like you can actually lift the grading up in sections Uh, I use my fat roll to get away. <laughs> you want to leave? Lifting up in sections? What did he just said? It could be a trap. It could be. All right. Yeah. You can, I'm you going can to back leave. up. I am going to back up. So if stuff, stuff starts pumping out of there, I can just get out of the room. <laughs> Made her all paranoid all with my paranoia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can, you can definitely do that. Meanwhile, Oda, in your sleep, again, the vision of Karen gets gets closer to you, and you can see his white fur and the like look of worry on his face. And um, as he approaches you in your mind's eye, uh, says to you, "What what are you doing here? You shouldn't be here." I, I'm I'm taking a nap. Your friends need you. Why are you sleeping? <laughs> I I'm so tired. Oh, child. My strain is max. <laughs> well, as a Jedi, you can you can deal with strain. There's definitely ways you should develop poison to that shit. <laughs> um, but he, but he like is he's like he he reaches out to you and he holds both your hands and he's like, it would only get worse for me here. You must resist. That. 
And he like looks at you and you can feel this like almost like a heartbeat like pump into you and like like you can feel his heartbeat and uh we if we were watching this like in movie form can hear like the boom boom and your eyes like pop open i'm going to give you back one strain uh he's brought you back to the group however as dio and pr3 back into the room you're in the mask itself begins to very faintly glow. Just like from within, faintly glow. Outside the ship, Alago, you start to feel very warm. Like something is not right. Maybe you ate a bad meal or something is wrong, but you feel it's like a warmth in your gut. Um, and I would like for you Two, if you would be so kind. Yes. Roll for me a uh, vigilance. Actually, a resilience check, please. Um, I won't make it that hard. A resilience check, if you'd be so kind. No. Yeah. Lago, you feel this, this heat inside you. Uh, continue to grow and it begins to to sort of envelop your body and as it does you have this incredible sense within you that boy i really should be on that ship and as you feel it the rampway opens up and extends down to you the logo kind of shakes his head gets up off one knee and just kind of starts lumbering towards the ship up the ramp. Yeah. Yeah. You 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 definitely want to be aboard the ship. There's something about this ship that you need to be inside for. Okay. Uh, we cut back to Dio PR3. You've entered the cabin again. You see Oda is beginning to wake up. Good. We need to go. Oda just tries to get to her feet and follow those instructions. Yes, go. Yes. Sorry. I fell asleep. Sorry. Where's the nearest other door? Um, the nearest other door is the lift up. That was it. Okay, so we came down here. There was that room. Oh, and well, there's the and there's up. also the door that leads to the hyperdrive chamber. Oh, who cares about that? Yeah. Um, should we go? Well, do I? I know it's the hyperdrive chamber because I saw the 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 yeah. That door is the hyperdrive chamber. We have no business there. Perhaps we should go back up the lift. Um, All right. Can I? <laughs> can I? Like you mentioned that I I probably had some experience like boosting ships and stuff. Mm -hmm. Can I do like a skullduggery type thing to be like? Do I just happen to know anything about the ship and how to exit it quickly? Um. You could definitely try. Yes. I will say that uh, PR3, as you say, boy, we should go up and take that lift. The lift has already begun to ascend back up. Well, that's not good. Yeah. As the lift begins to head up and you can see the hole in the ceiling of where the lift would go to, mm -hmm. you hear footsteps up above. Uh, oh. We cut to Ilago. You have entered this main room where all these ornamental figures are and these statues are. Um, I need another resilience check from you. This time will be slightly Sounds harder. Good. Something in you wants you to do something. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yikes. Something in you. It's like, you can hear it saying, there are people here, and they're here to take me. I'm yours. You have to get rid of them. <laughs> and you manage to, like, shrug it off. But there's something they hear that's yours. You can feel it like you need to get whatever this is. It's calling to you. Whatever this is, it wants you to have it. Uh. 
he he like kind of like needs to find his friends. They, sure. If he's feeling like this, they may be feeling like this too, and that might be why they haven't left yet. So he he powers on and steps onto the the elevator. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you the elevator rises up and you step on it, and it begins to move like it's coming back down. Dio PR three, Oda. You hear someone up above, and the elevator is coming back down. What do you do? I think we're going to die. I'm not going to well, I mean, why are you worried about dying? The rest of us, though, we don't have a chance of coming back. I don't know what I do. I I look ready a stun I, grenade. I look back at Oda and I'm like, are you okay? I, 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 I think so. I think so. What's that mean? I mean, you did get knocked out after uh helping him but i'm fine i'm fine Come on, you did a good job i'm proud of you oh thanks oh just like bashful yeah as as you prepare your stun grenade and have a moment of like you know hey thank you feeling pretty good the elevator comes down revealing it's a logo um and he looks fine he comes down and and logo you see the group all of them, like, ready to throw down with you. Uh, it's me. What? Uh, put, the, put the stun grenade away, will you? She does. What? It. what do you mean? We know it's you. I mean, we can she's see. holding a stun grenade. Yeah, well, she's... We thought you were the emperor of the galaxy. <laughs> yeah, well, we got to kind of fill him in on that, okay? Uh, this ship belongs to uh, Palpatine. Okay, we should leave now. <laughs> Good what job filling him in. That was very complete. Let's go. You just left me with way more questions. <laughs> we, Maybe we don't outside need, the ship. You want to go in there? You can go in there. There's a lot of weird... Uh, he's into some weird collecting or something. Uh, and now he knows... What? What'd you say? Anything of value? There's definitely we're, a lot. I don't know if you guys know this, but we're broke. There was a black kyber crystal. I've never seen one of those. I suppose it's probably valuable. Seriously? Did you grab it? No, because I didn't want the Emperor of the Galaxy to chase us. <laughs> he he would chase us with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> a glowy, <laughs> cutty stick. <laughs> oh, that's the worst kind. We can figure out how to take the ship itself. I mean, we could dump that in, in a place and get just so much money, but we can't. I, mean, I just got here, so unless you figured out how to file a ship already, it's not happening. You are the pilot, though. <laughs> PR3 can also fly a, a ship. Uh, not that one. He can't fly that one. This ship has no controls, per se. Um, as you argue, as the group of you argue over what to do, Oda, you feel like a pulse of energy come from the room uh, that Dio and PR3 had just come from. Ulago, you feel another wave of heat in your gut. If you'd be so kind, do another resilience check Yes, for me. sir. All of us? No, just Ulago. Okay. Yeah, Ulago, nope. you immediately feel like, man. We should go check out what's in that room. <clears throat> My strain is getting high, boys. <laughs> high strain's getting high. Sun's getting real low. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna take a look then, and then we'll go. Sound good? Yeah. I would look. recommend against touching anything. Yeah, no, uh, no, of course not. I turn around to Oda, and I'm like, "You stay out here. You passed out in there." You stay out here. And then I turn around and I walk in with Ulago. Yeah. Um, Oda, you feel waves of, like, force emanating from that room. Force. Like, actual, right. actual the force. Yes. I don't think you should go in there. Bad, bad, bad energy in there. Bad. It's bad energy pretty much everywhere. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I I, I don't think you should. I think we should leave and maybe blow up this ship. 
Ooh, I like that idea. Hey, you still have that flamethrower thing? I'm looking at PR3. I would recommend against blowing up the ship. Oh, I don't think that's a good idea either. Emperor Nobody ever likes my ideas. Well, you guys are worried about stealing one carbon crystal, so now you want to destroy everything. What do you think is going to happen if you do that? Door, if it closes behind you and we can't get in, what are you going to do? We should leave this ship, not touch anything, and back away slowly. Oh, you know, I'm kind of with the, the droid on this one. All right. Look, let me just have a look and see if it's flyable. You wanted to know, didn't you? No, I want to leave. Well, then leave. I'll be out in a second. Fine. We'll wait right here. This ship was personally crafted by one, one of the most sought-after ship creators of our time. It's probably fitted with all sorts of custom trackers, beacons, and security systems. We already know who we are probably by now that we've been on the ship. Yeah, Oda, Ulago continues to move into the room. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not listening to that. I'm just still walking. Um, you can hear in your, like, ears Cairn telling you to stop him. Like, you can hear the echo of his voice being like, you have to stop him! Like, it is, he is like, mm -mm, mm -mm, this hey, is bad news. Oh, you have to stop. Because, you know, a force ghost told me that you can't go in there, and I believe him, and you have to believe me. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I failed my resilience check. I'm going in there. <laughs> to, for your own good, I'm going to stun you now. I'm very sorry. Okay? I'm going to do it. Am I already in the room? You're already in the room. You've already entered right. the room. Yeah. yeah. Well, as, well, as he walks through the door, Oda's going to shoot him with stun. I shut the door as she goes yeah. to shoot. Wow. Uh, all right. I'm going to need... Um, Let's do just solid... Uh, we'll, we'll see who gets the initiative on this. We'll just do, for athletics sake, a solid athletics check across the board for both of you. Whoever has the higher result gets their thing done first. <laughs> Oda, pretty good. I'm going to use a light side point. Wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sure. sure. <laughs> I lost my resilience, guys. I don't... <laughs> Go for it. Thought about doing that, and then I was like, no. That's, you can't that's take Wow. That's light side yeah. point abuse. Yeah, yeah. You, well, can't, you can't use a light side against someone in the party. Wow. Yeah, wow. I'm, I fa I'm like control right now. Right. You, yeah, Oda, you uh, manage right as as Ulaga goes to close the door. You manage to blast him with the uh, stun gun, and he like crumples to the ground. Um. However, <laughs> I would like to use a dark side point. And Jesse. say that, sorry, and say that as he crumples to the ground, he falls into the room further. And um, instead of him like falling out, right, he falls in and you, you feel like a, like the pulsing that was coming from the room before is now like very heavy and it's like hitting your body. You feel the force like, oh, this is, not good at all. Um, Dio. I, I look at Dio and I'm like, help me get him out of there. So you can see visually that the, the, uh, the mask itself, there are two red eyes glowing from within the mask. Mm. Oda's freaking out, flailing. Try Dio, grab, I run up him. and I immediately grab hold of like his like the shoulder of his armor and start trying to drag him out. Yeah, as you do that, I'm gonna use another dark side point. Ooh. Um Dio, you start to feel a warmth within your stomach. Something is is like reaching out to you, and it's saying to you, Hey, what if we leave this guy on the floor? And you wear me. Lude. I need to do a resilience check, please. <laughs> Come no mass ever tried to seduce me. <laughs> Give it time. It's working its way through everyone. <laughs> I'm a droid. Can't do nothing. Yeah. Wow. Dio, you drop Ulago back on the floor. Oh, my God. And you say to yourself, hey, 
think I, I think I could wear this mask. It looks great. And you can begin I, to stare into the mask. I don't can think I, I use say, a okay, can I just correct? I don't think I say I think I should wear this mask. It looks <laughs> I think I think Dio is like, I feel at home in a mask. I'm gonna go grab it. Perfect. I love it. Yes. Yeah, you stand up and you just like stare at the mask. And it's like, hey. hey. Yeah. Can I can I take a deep Jedi breath and like slow the soundtrack down? Like you hear my breathing, and I just want to try to like protect my party from the force influence of this mask. I want to use the force to create a barrier around them. Yeah, sure. Um, use your I will clear everything off the board. Let's see if you roll light or dark side. What kind of force are you gonna have to access to save your friends? Uh, you mean like what skill? No, um, literally the lighter dark side point. Like, like, are you going to, well, you know how, when you have to use a thing, you have oh, to. Oh, you mean decide. according to the role. I thought you were asking me. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, my yeah. 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 Um, it's almost like you can see Karen sort of like reaching out and like lending you his power. And he's yeah. like, save your friends. Right. And so, um, <laughs> What do what are you trying to do here? I I'm trying to just like cut them off from that force influence. Like I'm trying to create a a a calm in the force where they are only themselves and with me. Sure. Um you would have to let's see, what would be the right way to do this? I think for you. This could be a, um, I think it'd be fun if it was either a cool check. So you like, you know, like, I'm one with the force. The force is one. Yeah, you'd be very cool mm. about this thing. Discipline. I would love it if you did something fun like that. Um, yeah, I'll let you do either of those two. Just sort of like you hit a meditation state and then you like, like a bubble if, of good force power. What if it's a charm? Because I'm speaking to them calmly and saying, no, listen, take a deep breath. The sun's getting real low. I'm Stop not it. conscious. Don't put on Yeah, I mean, mask. one of them is knocked out. So <laughs> okay, like... so charm won't work. Fine. You're charming Dio. No, you're tra I mean, you're just charming on... Dio. Yeah, you're just charming one person. Yeah. Oh, you okay. can do. Here's the thing. If you're going to do that, you could also do leadership. Leadership would be like, Dio, no. <laughs> Don't do that. Bad well, Dio. The reason that I want to use charm because it's your best stat <laughs> is because I also have smooth talker. Oh, now that could work. Um, but it I always forget how this works. It says when making checks with charm, spend triumph to gain additional success equal to ranks in smooth talker. So does yeah. that just mean that if I succeed and get triumph, then I gain additional success? Yes. Yeah. Don't I always get additional success if I get triumph? Um, no, triumphs do something different. They do something extra to the scenario. They don't yeah. give you more success. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Um, okay, well then I'm going to use charm if that's okay. Go for it. Oh, fingers crossed. Hopefully I gave you... With me. Oh, hold on. Well, oh, oh man. man. Don't worry Don't worry about that. Uh, I forgot to give you opposing die. And you can clear that. You can clear the four stuff. I did. Roll did it again? again? Yeah. I believe in you. Yay! Yes! There you go. Even better. Cool. Yeah. You reach out with the power of the force, and this this invisible bubble sort of extends around you as Dio is sort of like reaching for the mask, <laughs> and it extends in front of her. Dio, you have this feeling of just like, the hell am I doing in here? And you, yeah, you're just staring at the mask and it's looking back at you. Um, but there are no, those red eyes you saw earlier are not there right now. The mask is oh. trying to coerce you. Get out of there. I, I haven't picked it up or anything, right? No, you, you were about to. You were like reaching out to get it. Okay. Yeah, then I think, uh, yeah, I would look around and be like, I, how did I even get back here? And I just like turn around and start to walk back towards Ulago. Yeah. Um. You you are gonna pick him up and take him out of the the room. I'm gonna take him out. I don't think uh he's he's like bigger than me and I'm pretty big, so I'm gonna try and drag him out. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you can do it. It's just, it'll take you a, a hot sec. Um. Pr three, Oda. What would you like to do while Dio's trying to drag Ulago out of the room? 
I'll try to help. I mean, like, I'm not very strong, but I can at least, like, grab one of his feet and try to hurry the process along. Yeah. Uh, you enter the chamber, and as you do, you see the mask for the first time. Um, give me a perception check. Let's see if you know what this is. My perception's so bad. No, nope, you don't recognize it. Uh, you do have a uh, advantage you can give to someone if they want to try. I think the only person who hasn't actually tried is PR three. I think. Yeah, well, if you want perception wanna... on it. Yeah, if you want to try, I'll give you the advantage. I'll uh, give you a blue die. Yeah, PR three. You can look in the room. You like glance in. Okay. Mm hmm. Um. Feel free to share this with the group. Uh, I'm sure none of them care right now as Dio and Oda are carrying Lago out of the room. You look inside and you clearly see, based on you know your previous knowledge of, of everything that's going on, you see that the uh, back of the room, right? The weapons on the side are just weapons. They serve no value. Uh, in the back of the room, those are clearly lightsabers, right? There are clearly three lightsabers mm. in the back of the room. Uh, and in the center, you recognize this mask from the Imperial database. Um, it, From what you know, uh, you would know nothing of the Jedi Sith origins of this. But what you do know is that um, this is the – it resembles – the Mask of Momen. Momen was a Sith Lord scholar and sculptor. He was imprisoned for his disturbing artwork due to the materials he used in the employ of his creations. Um, eventually, created a weapon that could destroy entire populations not by vaporizing them or burning them, but by freezing them, instantly capturing their last moments of terror forever. It was this great work that caused the Jedi to intervene and end him. The mask was last located in the Jedi Temple vault, sealed away. And that's hmm. all you know about it. Uh, you do know that this was, like, not a 200-year-ago thing or, like, a five... Like, this is a mask from a long, long time ago. This is, like, old-school shit. Once again, you've all given to bewildering behavior. It's just an incredibly old haunted mask. Please display some dignity. Yeah, you like give them this look and and just a little bit of shame as they drag Ulaco <laughs> out of the room, and and he just kind of like I can't I can't believe you guys once again, and the group of you go to the lift and uh, two at a time go up to the top floor, and you can see that well all the lights are on and uh, Gizmo sort of wheeling around like worried sick about all of you uh, as you drag Ulaco out of the ship. Um, when you exit back out into the hangar, the door, uh, the ramp sort of closes and shuts behind you. And you hear this, and the lights that were on in the cockpit shut off again. Probably fine. <laughs> yeah, uh, you've made it out. What mm -hmm. do you, what are you going to do now? <laughs> what did <are> you, you <laughs> Oda is barely functioning. Ulago is passed out dial you're holding a logo up pr3 you know you and gizmo are just there what are you going to do like all their asses back to the ship okay yeah Lucky. uh <laughs> one by one <laughs> yeah um as as you move slowly back to the ship um you hear a noise behind you and the hangar begins to open hanger up above begins to open mm -hmm. and your comm link comes on dio and you and you hear fang are you there no totally not here right now <laughs> and i, I ah, you're so funny. Too. like i'm out of breath and i'm just like oh. do you know answering that you're not there is counter to pretending that you <laughs> are not there thanks droid do you find the ship fang Oh, you want this ship, huh? This one? This one's full of evil. You sure you want this one? 
Don't play games with me. All right. You'll be there in five minutes. I, I got expect one to game. see you when we arrive. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, actually, I need to make sure that she's still safe. I'll show you where the ship is once I, I know she's safe. She's safe. We wouldn't bring her with us, dummy. I don't care. I want to hear from her directly that she's safe. You want this ship. There's a lot of stuff on there you could really use. Oh, you know they have... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Jesse. Would I know that that's a kyber crystal? Did you tell them that, Oda? I did. Yeah. Okay. You know they have a kyber crystal on board? You hear like a... Sm you can almost audibly hear the smirk on his face as he sort of like laughs and uh, says to you, there's a lot of things that you didn't know that we know. No, I know a lot now, maybe even more than you right now. So if you want this ship and you want to take it from us, you're going to have to make sure that my sister is safe. I'm going to have to hear her voice. And you know what? You're going to have to just go ahead and forget about your buddy that disappeared. Uh, he, he, like, cackles. Like, <laughs> I don't have any buddies. Good. Like, Put her through. And you can hear the comlink sort of move through the air as he puts it up against, like, a wall monitor of some sort. You can hear it, like, clank against the wall. And through what is obviously another screen, you can hear him talking to someone somewhere else. And he's like, put the girl on. And you can barely make out the voice of a young woman on the other end being, like, dragged over to the comlink. And they're like, Say something. And you hear her say to you, Daiho? And I think before uh, they would have, I don't know. If, can, wait, can everybody hear this? Yeah, oh, I, I mean, well, Sam's passed out, but maybe subconsciously. I sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, I would, I, even if they could, I would make sure that it was now like playing for Oda specifically. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oda can hear it. What are they doing to you? Are you okay? Are they feeding you? They, they put me, they put me in a cage. Barely a cage. Are they feeding you? Are you healthy enough? And you can hear a guy in the background like, she gets gruel. Or nothing. All right, well, I'm coming for you. You know that, right? And you can you can hear in her voice, like, a very firm... Of, like, she's like, I know. No. I would look specifically at Oda in that moment to, like, really drill in the fact about, like, this is of utmost importance to Dio. All right. Well, you get your ship, but I, and I get my sister. No. We get our ship, and you get one step closer to your sister. Ugh. Hmm. I don't think that's what I just said. Wait, uh, PR3, what did I just say? Can you play that back to me real quick? I believe you said, I give you the ship, and then I get my sister. That's what I heard. See, he can't lie about that. He's a droid. I mean, he probably could lie, but... He's a droid. I mean, why would he? You're right. You're right. Here's the thing. We'll give you your sister. Part of her. All right, then I'll just go ahead and, uh... Wait, uh, PR3, who did this ship belong to again? I believe this ship belonged to Emperor Palpatine himself. And, uh, what would he do... If he found out these people, the Dread Rabbits, were trying to, uh, take this ship? He would systematically skin the Dread Rabbits, their family, friends of their family, or anyone who ever walked by their house. Oh, is that it? Man, I was hoping there was more to that. That's just for starters. Well, that's unfortunate, because we need that ship. And we've always known about it, Fang. We've always known about it, but you couldn't find it, and we did. So, 
Deal is, you bring my sister to this planet. Okay, uh, Jesse, would yeah. I know how long it would take for them to bring her from where she was supposedly located to here? Mm -hmm. uh, as you look up, you see a large ship overhead as the hangar opens. They are here now. Whether your sister's on board that ship, you don't know. But there is a ship filled with dread rabbits. You can see their logo sketched into the side of the ship as it hangs above you. It is a red sort of rickety frigate Wait, that has entered the atmosphere. I didn't tell them where it is. What now? Find it. I didn't even tell them where it is. Well, they're above you. They've definitely been tracking you. They knew where the hangar was. The guy told you. Can I mute my comm link? Sure. You can you can mute it. PR3. These guys are tracking me. We're gonna have to figure out how they're doing that. Probably with some sort of tracker. I will take you apart piece by piece. I have no <laughs> doubt. Later on, you and me, we're figuring out how they're tracking us so easily. Very well. Um Should we attack them? You don't have a means to... I mean, this is a large ship, right? This is, like, clearly... This is huge. Be like... This is a big ship. There are... You could at least assume there are 100 pirates aboard this ship. All right. Play nice. Pierre, do you have a means to contact anyone should things go south with my sister situation? Do I? Who am I contact? Who would you like me to contact? Master's master, to put it uh, loosely. Would I know an expedited? Uh, no, you wouldn't know how Imperial, to read. Not, not Emperor Palpatine, no. but like Imperial nine one one. Um, you might, maybe. But why would I want to do that? One Imperial, right? You, I would simply say, um, you definitely do know PR three. You know how to reach the Empire for sure. I can call the Empire, but we want to be a long way away when they arrive here. A long yeah. way. It's not like an Imperial Inquisitor and or Imperial, like, ISB agent are literally hunting you. But yeah, you can definitely call the Empire. All right, we'll keep that in the back burner. But until then, <laughs> we... when they land... I need you to try. I actually, I don't know if I, I should be able to know if he does this, right? Can he try to install some sort of way to track them because he can, uh, computers their ship? Like if they land um, a, to the ship. Yeah, if, they, if they land, 100%. Okay. Also, did I know exactly what that mask did if they were putting the mask on their head? No, nope, you just know that it belonged okay. to a dude who was a Sith at some point. Because it horribly kills people, just send them in Thousands of years ago, and it's a guy <laughs> who is like, yeah. you know, the mask is bad news, apparently. All right, well, they're going to have to deal with it anyway if they get the ship. Okay, PR3, if they land, try to get, try to do that whole droid thing into their ship Ooh. and uh, find a way to track them. Yeah, do the um, thing, got the, it. The, with the thing that connects to the thing, you know, it's easier for you to do it than me because it's not like I. Uh, it just takes longer, and I fail a lot. So Plan C, that one thing, got it. Yeah, Not a so... way to crack up. Jeez, and I just like will turn around <laughs> and walk. Yeah, you you hear uh, on the other end of the com link. Ben, are you there? No. You should probably move the move from the area while we retrieve our ship. Yeah, yeah. And I go and I grab a logo and I drag him out of the area as well. Yeah, yeah. As the group of you sort of moves back, allowing PR3 to stand there, come up with a plan. Um, as the hangar is now completely open above this, you can feel the heat of Sullust coming into the room. It's it's extremely hot. Um, but force fields are protecting you for any debris or any like sort of like welches of lava or whatever um but the ship above it opens as well and from it a large like crane starts to lower down towards the ship 
with a lo- giant claw, and uh, it begins to latch itself to the actual uh, J type, and it seals itself around it and begins to just lift it up out of the room. Stop that. Not that you can see. Not that you can see. There's no way to do that. I guess they're not coming down here. <laughs> Take the disruptor rifle and shoot. Sure, go for it. Ooh, sever yeah. that umbilical. Yeah, you can pull the disruptor rifle and you can try to shoot a starship with a disruptor rifle. No, no, the, the part that's pulling it, not the. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Go for it. Or the cable. Um, what is, what is gonna, that? Uh, it would just be a, a heavy. Uh, weapons roll ranged oh, heavy, I'm yeah, ranged heavy, and I'm gonna use a dark side point. Ah, come on, rude. <laughs> Go for it. I yeah. fail. You pull it out. You take a shot. Uh, it like kicks back enough that it gives you four strain. Um, and it hits the it hits the side of the ship and does absolutely nothing. Um, disruptor rifles can mess up flesh but not metal like that and it does absolutely nothing to the ship um the claw continues dragging it back up i'm gonna into... go to the terminal and try to close the 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 whatever the thing the the how they're cl- like getting it out the doors <laughs> i'm sorry yeah 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 yeah. as you run over the <laughs> terminal mind, like, think of it <laughs> yeah as you run to the terminal that uh was the one that dropped the you know that had the the cargo claw that dropped it into the room with you to begin with um as you run over that terminal uh gizmo runs with you like like trying to get you to like we should go this is bad news and you can hear laughter over the comm link as they can see you down below trying to stop them The term- terminal. Yeah. Okay. Give me. Uh, give me one second to change the die. Um, He's a light side. Yeah. Go for it. I'll give you that upgrade. Try to hack the terminal. Ooh, oh man! You don't hack the terminal. You cannot do it. But you get something good from your triumph. I'll let you determine what that is. What's the good thing you get from your triumph? Go for hmm. a sandwich. Hmm. Something about your sister? Like confirmation of where she is or something? Yeah, I think in like uh, their ego and how they're like winning this moment, I think like mm-hmm. one of them lets something slip about my sister. Oh, over comms, you mean? Yeah. yeah. They don't realize that like, they're talking over comms because they're being like, oh, we, uh, we got her. And, you know, they see me trying to scramble and they're just like, they get let, let their egos get hold of them. Because the bad sure. guys yeah, are you, bad egos. You mm-hmm. can hear them laughing over the comms. And uh, right before they turn off the comm system to you, you can hear one of them talk to the other guy who's on the screen that you clearly can't see where the sister is. Um, you can hear him say, we'll meet you back on the first light. And the comm systems goes off. I'll let you and perceive right what that, that could happens, be. You see Dio look up at the ship. And then you see her eyes go heavy. And she falls backwards and passes out. <laughs> Damn! Um, mm. Oda, PR3, you could try and perceive whatever the first light is. But um, yeah. You, yeah, I want to you... perceive it. Could I use a different role though? Because if if I've heard of the first light, if it's like a ship or something, it's probably because of my there is my only smuggler one, life. There's only one role. Yes, streetwise is the only role you can roll mm. for this. Cool. Would you call it smug life? <laughs> smug it is life. smug life. God damn it! <laughs> yeah, Oda, you don't recognize the name at all. You don't recognize what the first light is. Boo! But I do. PR3, uh, this would actually be a uh, streetwise role as well. You can perceive, you perceive Aww. that it's not, you perceive it's not a planet. Okay. Gosh darn it. No, nope, you don't know what it is either. 
Uh, the only person who knows is clearly Diofang, and she is passed out. The Can ship... I try to revive her? Of course, yeah. As 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 you kneel down to, I assume, do a medicine check on her. Mm-hmm. As you try to revive her and get her back, um, the ship, uh, l- like pulls in the uh, silver J type, and the doors seal around it, and uh, you can see this big freighter like lift off and fly away. That sucks. I do a medicine yeah. check. I fail. Yeah, you can't. She's out. She passed I, out. Can I give my advantage to someone else who would try to revive her? Sure, you can give it to PR3. It's just PR3, right? Mm, yeah, you can no try and left. give her a stem. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I didn't get did it. That, did that, it was that with my advantage? Oh, oh uh, it wasn't. I'm sorry. No, let me do this. Uh-huh. Go for it. <laughs> no, you have so much advantage. Here's the thing. You can try and wake her up again with all that advantage, uh, but it's going to be a three die roll. May as well. Dude, you guys are so keen to revive her. What the fuck about me? I've been down <laughs> for like an hour and a half. what the first light is. You don't know that. I could have rolled good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you pop dial uh pr3 hits you like right in the chest with a stim that just pops you awake and uh I, I, as i pop awake i'm so like upset and like also invigorated i i accidentally punch pr3 sure <laughs> right in the face just like pop him right in his robot face ow <laughs> i wasn't able to do the thing no, oh my god, what happened? Where are they? They flew away. Great. Awesome. They yeah. said something about the first light? What's Dave. that? Um, Dial, give me a uh I'll let you choose. It can be lore, streetwise. Go I'll get you can pick whatever floats your boat. But you Use a light side. Uh-huh. Brawl. <laughs> well not brawl you're not gonna fight your way to this answer <laughs> it's my it's my best thing um, um definitely use a light side point for sure uh but does perception work maybe yeah sure um but make sure to use your light side yeah i'll upgrade go nuts of nice. course you know of course you know what it is um First Light is a luxury yacht owned and possessed by Dryden Voss, who is the leader of the Crimson Dawn, one of the biggest crime syndicates in the galaxy. He is connected with a lot, and he is a bad dude. Another bad guy yacht. Strain did I have taken off? Um, you're fine. Don't worry about the strain. Okay, I was like, did I just pass? Like, I know, and bye. Although, although, for the sake of hilarity, you can shout that you know, and then immediately pass out again. And that's where we can end the episode. <laughs> just to be like, you shout immediately like, oh no, and then zonk I out. Punch, I punch PR3 and I go, Dryden Voss! And I punch <laughs> PR3, and then I just immediately like, pass back out. <laughs> yeah, and you are left passed out on the ground with the logo and Oda, you and PR3 are standing over them. The camera like, slow pans up, it zooms out, and we're just both starfished. Yeah, <laughs> just knocked out. And things have gone from bad to worse, but at least you know she, where your sister is. She thinks I'm someone named Dryden Voss, and she <laughs> wants to punch him. Yeah, because he's that's a bad dude. Alright, that is uh, where we'll end for today with that. Oh my goodness. Uh... JP, do we have, is it like question time? Can we do stuff like that? What is our vibe, buddy? I have. Excellent. What, what were you going to say, Anna? I was just going to say I haven't seen anything to the contrary. but Excellent. Uh, okay. If you have questions, thoughts, whatever, we're going to do our little post-show thing right now. Um, hit them with, uh, you know, in chat or whatever, and JP will jump on that. Uh, okay. Gang, thoughts on today. What is your vibe? Can we... Can we get answers about what the boat or like what was on the ship now? Or is sure, it still a secret? Yeah. I, like mean, what, I mean, what was the mask? What was the mm. fertility statue? 
Yeah. Yeah. And like what, literally, what could we have stolen that wouldn't end badly for us? You could have taken anything you wanted, really. Uh -huh. Um, but just to give you like the fact that everything had a purpose. Uh, so in the main in the main room that you first entered into, um, that had the uh unknown trinkets and the red and black things one of them was straight up like a sith holocron was there if you want to take that uh in the bookshelves if you would have like gone to the books there was something hidden behind the bookshelf um, oh my god in the uh main hold area the gungan fertility totem was literally just an old fertility totem the reason why i put it there is because um in the star wars comics when Landel Calrissian finds the Emperor's real yacht later on. There's a Gungan fertility totem in it. And I was like, I think that's fucking hilarious. So I included a Gungan <laughs> fertility totem just for fun. Uh, <laughs> it serves no purpose. It was just there for fun. Um, uh, the Darkstone statues are literally like the same that are in the Emperor's office on Coruscant. Just weird, like, how the Jedi were like, this doesn't seem suspicious at all. But yeah, so there's very similar. Um... The, the if if PR three had done scanning, he would have found they were over ten thousand years old and not from anywhere in the known galaxy, um, which would have taken you down a whole other area. The large crystal was literally just a giant corrupted kyber crystal. Uh, the two dark urns, if you would have opened them, there would have been bodies inside, so that would have been fun. Um, the massive stone carving was the like top part of a tomb, um, and the ring is literally the ring that. Uh, uh, Supreme Leader Snoke wears in uh, the new Star Wars movies. So if you if you saw that man with the ring, that's the ring he wears the entire hmm. time. So it's his. So that was my little. Like, I'm so mad tidbit. that you guys. I'm gonna be real. I'm, I'm so mad you guys didn't steal nothing, dude. <laughs> Not in my character. I, was there, I would have been <laughs> taking some shit. Um, the just to, I don't know if if uh JP wants to show this. I can try and put it on the screen. Um, the mask that you found looked like this, like this is, this is what it looked like. And you can see behind you, the lightsabers that are there. Mm -hmm. If you're interested in what that room kind of looked like, uh, it is literally a direct ripoff of what the emperor's like vault looks like anyway, but that's the mask. That's what that mask looked like as it was like glowing at you and being creepy. Um, so that's kind of the vibe of what that was as well. Uh, the room itself, that one circular room, there were just weapons and nothing really of value. The, the, the light, the, the lightsabers that were there had no crystals in them. They were just hilts. So if you would have tried to like activate them, they just would have been hilts, uh, clearly a collection of some sort, possibly dead Jedi. And, um, the mask is a well-known lore commodity that like is consistently trying to take over people wherever it's at. Wherever this mask goes, it's like, put me on, bro. I definitely won't do anything evil. Um, I guess the lore of uh, uh, Momin is that he tried to fight the Jedi and they like destroyed. His, he tried to do some like weird Sith magic, but it destroyed his body and trapped his soul inside the <clears throat> helmet. Uh, so I guess he's kind of like the Lich King in WoW in a little bit of a way. Um, hmm. So that's pretty much it. There's like a Sith guy trapped in there. And of course the Emperor probably kept in there and was like, what up, buddy? And he's like, not much, dude. How's it going? Uh, still in the helmet, huh? You know, I'm sure they had conversations. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what was in there for you to mess with. All of it would have um, been fun. I will say, I, I should have hinted at the books being more important because you definitely would have found something in there about the box you have with you. No. Oh. Ah. Typical. Yeah. You would have found information about the box. At least you might not have been able to read it, but you literally would have been like, I think I've seen this box before. Um, so yeah, that that was that. Let's see. Uh, anything else? Any other thoughts about today? Things that you were thinking about. Was the, the was ship there wasn't way to flyable at all, right? Yeah, yeah. So I was gonna um, say the exact same question. <laughs> it, the ship is totally flyable. Um, it requires the force to turn on. Is it wrong? So why didn't I say that? I was thinking it the whole time. Yeah, it requires the force to turn on. There is a power switch. It's like underneath all the consoles and shit. Um, so you would have had to flip it with the force. Mm -hmm. However, in order to properly fly it, you would have had to tap into the dark side, Odo. 
Like I said, it runs on frowns. I knew it. Yeah. So <laughs> you could have turned the thing on and been like, let's go. But you would have had to been like, okay, I need to like get into my negative emotions and really like <laughs> fly this thing, which would have been fun for me at least. Um, yeah. So you definitely could have taken off means, and left. Means to an end. Mm hmm. You could have done it if you wanted to. Anything else? Like any other questions about what happened or, uh, you know, what you guys did Whose today? Whose obligation was it? What now? Whose obligation? Uh, it was still yours, which is why, I don't know, if you rewind the tape, I was like, because look, I'll be honest, I really wanted PR3's obligation today. <laughs> I had so, I was like, this is the time. I'm going to get him. No, it was it was your obligation again. So I was just like, okay. They're definitely coming to take this thing. But the good news is you gave it to them, so you lose obligation. So it's better for everyone that you've done your obligation this time. Uh, like, so... I wanted to give it to them no matter what, even if I sure. was successful at, like, stopping the thing. But, like, right. I wanted them to, like, have to come down and get it. Right. I mean, the way obligation works is even if I wanted to be like, yeah, we'll bring you uh, your sister they still couldn't give it, give her to you until you've wiped your obligation mechanically. Uh, so like, even though story wise, it's like, okay, we can do whatever mechanically. You're like, I still owe these people. So they're still going to be like, no F you Dio Fang. We're going to do whatever we want until the time when you're like, I don't know you shit. I'm getting my sister back. Then you can do whatever the hell you want to these people. But until then they're like, pay your debt. Um, at least we so, know they're not mad over uh, what's his name that died to spiders. I don't think they care about anyone. <laughs> I, don't, yeah. I don't think those people care about any of their <laughs> goons. I'm also like, I don't care if he dies. He's a bad person and they're all bad. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it matters to them. Um, I will say that next time starting out, I'll, you, you will clearly have just made your way back to the ship. Um, I'll let you determine how long you decide to stay there and rest. But uh We'll talk about leveling up after your experiences and all that stuff and giving you guys some points to mess with next time. Um, anything else of importance or thoughts that you have on what went down today? Anything mechanically, anything of that nature? We no, good? No, it's a lot of fun. I think we're good. All right. Cool. We have yeah. questions in the Twitter chat if you're. I am going there right now. Uh, will Jesse's character, Zevin, that he played at PAX Australia, make a cameo? Probably not. Zevin it definitely uh, would never fit into this world. A guy who only shoots people in the hand because he thinks it's it's like romantic. I don't know how he'd live. <laughs> Sam would destroy him. Sam would vaporize this man in a heartbeat. Um, uh, hovering hog. So like out of character. I have question. Was that Darth Vader's ship from the comics? Uh, no, it was 100% just a Naboo cruiser the Emperor had before he got his real cruiser that he gets later on. Um, <laughs> what do you use to draw your maps? Uh, there are several programs online that you can use to draw maps. Um, let me drop some names for you. You can use, th like, one that I don't use, but I love to death, is there's one called, um, oh, my brain just died, uh, Dun Dungeon, Dungeon.app slash dungeon and uh even though uh i think i've used it once but it's like super cool and you can do a million things on it uh you can do like an ice temple or a stylized and then there's like better versions if you like sign up for stuff it's very nice um there are many there are many out there that you can go look at uh my dream what i'm working on now is i'm working with a guy to create custom ones like future custom ones so you know if you get stuck aboard like a star destroyer for whatever reason we have a map of that so that should be fun uh <laughs> you know whatever whatever reason um yeah so more of that is to come um uh alizarin what was the thing you wanted us to read last week what was the thing i wanted you to read last week uh-oh uh-oh oh, yeah you mentioned us having to read something after this Hmm. oh oh yeah um i would say if you want to read something awesome i already mentioned it which is why i couldn't uh go check out the lando comic there it's like five issues it is lando calrissian at his best it literally starts with him like waking up in the bed of a grand moff and he's like what up baby i just robbed you and she's like i'll tell everyone he's like no you won't because i'm lando calrissian and she's like you got me lando it's incredible <laughs> lando's amazing and then it is him going on a heist with like 
his boy Lobot, before Lobot becomes like brain dead, he goes out like a cool, like his dude Lobot who goes drinking with him. And then two very awesome androgynous, like, like Puma people, like Panther people. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. And they go and they steal a ship and the ship is the emperor's ship. And they're like, Oh shit. And, um, uh, it's great because the emperor's like, get my ship back. And it's, it's like a fun five issue comic. That is like, if you want Lando at his most Lando is it's great. And so that's where like a lot of the, um, like look and feel of the ship came from. I just didn't want to spoil it. Cause I was like, yeah, no, I just, I love that comic series. And I was like, they're going to find this ship because it's amazing, but it can't be the same ship. Cause they're still building it, but like they find the previous one. So that's what I wanted to do because it made me happy. And I wanted to like really get weird with it. So that's I have a question. why you got it. Yes. Do we continuously disappoint you with how much work you put into things that we gloss over by accident? No, not at all. I am fully like playing these games. I'm very well aware of like, I do the same. So like, uh, uh, our dear friend, Steven, who, you know, um, he sets up like Epic. The dude works for gorilla. He sets up Epic ba boss battles for us. And we cheese the shit out of them. Like there was, and, and the game we played like a few weeks ago, literally we just summoned a million snakes and the snakes like surrounded the boss so it couldn't get to us. And we just sat in the background throwing shit at it. We were like, yeah. And he was like, so the snakes do 86 damage because there were so many snakes. And we were like, yeah. And he's like, you killed the golem. We're like, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. He, he, it was, it was a beautiful moment. Dude. So I, I totally understand. I'm not at all. It doesn't affect me at all. I literally literally our game yesterday <laughs> oh demigod yeah. wants to talk to your character oh i don't even care about him <laughs> yes, <laughs> that was you yeah. that is uh, i forgot yeah <laughs> yesterday on uh on the game we played yesterday i literally was sent to a mirror realm mm -hmm. and my character was just like all right what the hell is this what do you want like that, i just completely like, ignored up. my call to action i was like yeah, all right i'm gonna leave now and then uh, Dodger had to go in and be like, I'll do it. And I was like, all right, have fun. <laughs> so that was, yeah, that um, I'm used to it. I, it doesn't affect me at all. Uh, if anything, I'm like, I could probably use that later in some way. Mm. So expect to see some things happen later that you're like, oh, he probably talked about that in post show once. And now it's back. Um, definitely probably haven't seen the end of that mask. Wink. Oh, um, no. oh Those dinguses see. have it now. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely haven't seen. They're the gonna end put of it. it all over their faces and muck it all up with their oils. <laughs> what was my fancy cocktail? What a crazy question! It was uh, sparkling water, watermelon, and like I, it was like a watermelon mint lemonade combo, and then vodka. So there you go. Now you know, kids. Um, was the lightsaber mall a night sisters or someone else? Um. It wasn't Darth Maul's lightsaber for reasons that uh, should be obvious now that Dryden Voss was mentioned. Um, they were just lightsabers, like old lightsabers. Um, yeah. Uh, the Disney, the mask was basically the Disney version of Warb Null. I don't know what that means. Should I know that? Am I not nerd enough to know what that means? Is that like a character, like the man and the creepy mask? I don't know. Um, uh, Sam, how's it feel yes. to be on the sideline for this adventure? Broccoli Bear wants to know. I feel like I've been at the forefront of everything, so it was totally fine. Okay, yeah. Warb I was a male human dark Jedi. Oh no, it was what? it was Momen. I wanted to comment on uh on uh, Ulago not being there because. It's it's not in Dio's character to necessarily go in and just steal a bunch of stuff unless that unless that's like what she's there for. Mm -hmm. and... It really does. It, yeah, it really does illustrate the direction I lead the party when I'm not there, so they don't <laughs> touch anything or do anything. When he's there, then like Dio might be like, I guess I'll take something. But then like when he's not there, she's like, I'm not taking anything. I'm not gonna touch. Like, anything. There was a scene where Pocket was. You were like the great slipped up, and Pocket was like, "Fuck that! I leave the room." <laughs> like I'm like, if I was there, I'd be down there. Like I can <laughs> see it in your eye. Like as you looked at the camera, I was like, I know that Sam would have been like, all right, let's go in those grades and see. Honestly, it was another way out. It was literally just uh, a way out. 
Yeah. No, I think it was um, one of those, like, they start to lift, and I was like, I'm not falling into a trap. I'm yeah. just going to go back to where we came. It would have just taken you out through one of the landing gears. You could have gone down that, that little compartment there and come out the landing gear. Yeah, it wasn't threatening at all, which is why it cracked me up that PR3 was like, we are going to die if we go there. And you so easily were like, yeah, we are dead. We are. I, I was like, <laughs> we're fucking dead. I was like, there, I didn't say there was a security system. And you're like, well, he told me there could have been. And I trust the droid. And I'm like, <laughs> all right. I'm like, okay. I think it would be a test to like, Dio's not willing to take risks. So if a droid says that could be dangerous, that could be deadly, then she's going to be like, yeah, I'm not willing to risk it. I know this way's not. <laughs> so yeah. she's going to turn. Um, uh, yeah, there's a, I think this is from your channel, Anna. Uh, what kind of firepower does the Emperor shuttle have? Automated yeah. system. Some people um, were saying that we should have used that firepower against the Dread Rabbits. Yeah, it has automated systems to protect it when it's powered on. So if you had powered it on and turned it on and you were like, we're getting out of here and you left. Um, you would have been like, I can't find anything to shoot. And it just would have shot automatically. Like, it would have done the work for you. It is designed to be like, no one touches the Emperor. <laughs> um, it's very high-powered. There's a lot of, like, hidden weapons compartments on this ship. So it would have been terrible for whoever came across it. Um, well, and I also had the thought that Dio's sister might have been on that ship. So we didn't necessarily want to just, like, demolish it. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Uh oh man, JP posted like a huge warb null thing. I had no clue who that was. Uh okay. Um could they have put the black kyber crystal into one of those lightsaber hilts and had a working lightsaber? Yes. What would that have meant? I don't know. Um was there a hidden trove on the ship somewhere of hollow pictures the emperor had taken of his buttocks? Is this just a question you want to know, Mike? <laughs> is this just a question you want to? If, if the, if I, the just, Emperor I would took... figure that like maybe we had some, hum some human ludes? humanity. First off, here's the thing. I don't it's know what the Emperor's ludes. capable just, of. You know, if I was going to make robes and be the Emperor of the Galaxy, I want to know how my butt looked. All I need to know is I don't know what the Emperor is capable of because mm -hmm. I've literally read Emperor Palpatine poetry. From like, Pardon it me. exists. It's terrible. It's written terribly it exists so the emperor who knows i do know the emperor has a kid apparently so like you mm. know his old ass boning down in some way so i'm just putting it out there who knows what the emperor is capable of who knows so i'm sure there's wrinkle old butt pictures out there <laughs> absolutely for you bike in that room the one room that you didn't go into that mm -hmm. was next to the uh cockpit the one room you didn't go into it wasn't actually a throne room it was just a bunch of like a like an art gallery of tasteful butt pictures of the emperor and would tasteful. they have whispered in everyone's heads like the mask did <laughs> yeah and it would have been like you like this butt don't you <laughs> and that's another that's right. room that i would have been like i think this is a trap and then just walked out <laughs> yeah yeah meanwhile bike would have been like my programming i have to stay here forever i have appreciate to, the butt i have to look at these that's right look at this <laughs> butt it's good isn't it Right? Subtle, oh, yeah. The subtle curvature. I can't look away. And the last question is one we will skip because JP is a monster. Uh, we'll get a po You'll get a podcast when you get a podcast, JP. No sooner. One day you'll get our podcast, not today. Um, that's it for us. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, be good. Have a great week. We will see you all next week with another episode and this crew will level up and get some more points in their life and uh, we'll move on to more adventure and we'll see what happens next time. Bye, everybody. Wait, Bye. hold on. We can't leave. Whoa, time out. Don't Whoa. know. I'm done. What are y'all doing this week? I forgot to ask. Sam, what are no you doing one this week? No cares what we're doing. Playing video <laughs> games. I care. I care. That was it. Okay. Anna, what are you doing this week? Maybe playing ah. video games. Bikeman, what are you doing this week? I might do something. Pocket, what are you doing this week? He's, do you see how his enthusiasm is training? So good. I'm selling a house. 
Thanks, All right, well, that's it for us. Well, you know what? I might decide to sell a house, too, then. Yeah, I might sell a house three, then. Mm, mm. Well, one day play a video game or two. Whoa. Okay, you can't pivot like that, okay? Yeah, we come all on. Agreed on None of us was prepared for that answer. No. Kind of None up. of us are ready. Uh, all right. For real, though, thank you uh, to the four of you for playing with me. Let's get out of here. Bye, everybody. Bye. You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots. We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Not a lot of time for video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Oh, thank God. I don't need pants now. Hey, JC. What are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a professional broadcast. Yeah, now sing music. It's a professional broadcast. Bring the strippers and boots. It's a professional broadcast. Now here's to ask and answer one simple question. It's a professional broadcast. You got